Hey Strength Faction, it's Coach Mike here, coming at you with this week's insertion of Just the Tip. This week I'm going to talk to you about a real simple yet effective way that I save a lot of time when I'm programming. So I used to, when I was writing my programming, flip back and forth through sheets and sheets of work to make sure that I was writing a well-balanced program. It's hard to keep track of everything. You're thinking about a lot of stuff when you're putting your programming down on paper. You want to make sure that all the factors are balanced out well and in accordance with how you're going to program for your, your client. So what Chris Merritt, that handsome devil, taught me was this little technique here. Uh, so we're going to use a stick figure here to track as we go. So as I'm writing a program, let's say I start out with squats. I will tick mark one for a lower body push. Right, so if you can't see that little foot there, you can also draw a little nose there to help you say, remind you that that, that guy's facing that way. That's going to mark our squat. With our squat, we might put an upper body pull, so I'm going to put a tick mark over here. <coughs> so basically, as we go through, as I make my put my program together, I'm going to tick mark my exercises accordingly. Right? Go through, go through. Now when I get through my entire program, what I want to make sure of is that this is all balanced out in, in accordance with my client's needs. So, uh, you know, let's say I have a Gen Pop client and I'm going to have them do a two, two pulls to one push ratio. I want to make sure that I have double the tick marks on the pull as I do the push. Right? So when you get done with your program, you don't have to flip through to double check your work. As long as you keep your tick marks accurate, uh, you can just take a look at your little stick figure guy here and make sure that you programmed for your client exactly how they need to be programmed for. Hope you enjoy this tip. If you have any questions, make some comments, hit me up, and uh, we'll see you next week.